Tiller bedding helps keep a rifle accurate and maintain its point of impact over time. Watch along as we install these pillars. Here are the aluminum bedding pillars, and they're installed in the action screw holes located here. They create metal-to-metal -metal contact, ensuring consistent torque on the guard screws over time. Before we can install these pillars, however, we must install the stock escutcheon, which goes here. It's designed to match the escutcheons on our cross bolts. To begin, we'll need to drill the holes for the escutcheon and the pillars. The pillar drilling fixture made by Score High is just the ticket for this job. It features hardened bushings along with a specially ground drill bit to precisely locate the holes. Here's the fixture attached to the stock. Since we need a through hole the same size as the smaller diameter of the escutcheon, I've made a smaller bushing which will center the smaller drill bit. Now I can drill the hole. I'm using a specially ground 5 8 inch drill bit to make the hole for the pillar, which allows me to cut right down to the shoulder of the escutcheon. Now I can drill the hole to the proper depth. Then drill the rear action screw hole completely through. Once the fixture is removed, we can drop in the escutcheon and tap it the rest of the way in place. This set of pillars from Score High includes one short pillar for the front guard screw and a longer one for the rear. Each is adjustable for length and contoured to match the receiver. I begin by securing the short pillar to the front screw hole using the supplied retaining screw. Then repeat this process for the rear pillar. It's important that each pillar is firmly seated to the receiver. Now I can place the barreled action in the stock and adjust the length of the rear pillar until it's level with the bottom of the trigger guard inletting. Next I adjust the front pillar. Since we're using epoxy to glue the pillars in place, I'll disassemble everything. Clay, along with release agent, is applied to the action, screws, and trigger guard to prevent the action from sticking in the stock. Now the pillars are reattached to the barrel action. After mixing the epoxy, I apply it to both holes in the stock and to the pillars themselves. The barreled action is placed in the stock and the T-handles tightened. I normally back them off a half a turn after four hours. Then after 24 hours, we can separate the barreled action from the stock. Here you can see the two pillars where they bottom out on the action. Since the front pillar is bedded right to the escutcheon, we needed to turn down the shoulder of the front retaining screw to fit through it. We've got some flashings from the glass bedding here and here. Normally we would clean this up, but since we plan to glass bed the entire action, it's not a problem right now.